All right, what's up guys? Uh, Steve here, obviously. I am going to be painting some lures today. Uh, I've been doing this for a little while. I had to take a break because my uh, past air gun had broke, but I just got a new Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Um, just got it in the mail a couple days ago, whatever. I've, I've painted a couple already, tested it out. It's, wor it's working good. Um, Right now I'm getting ready to paint uh, <clears throat> a pink pink lure, pink and white. Um, and as you see, I got a 2.5 square bill here and a 1.5 uh, uh, round bill. I'm going to be doing the same pattern on each, so I, I like to do two at a time. I already got the white base coat on it and the square bill. I already have um, a pearl white on it. I'm doing pearl uh, just to give it a little extra something onto it. So stay tuned and watch. Light coats um, in between hair dryer. Alright, so the next step is to add the pink. I'm going to use a fluorescent pink by a Createx uh, hot pink fluorescent. I'm going to go ahead and just shake that up real quick, get that ready. Um, so I'm going to do a scale pattern about halfway down the body, at the top and halfway down. And uh, most people use a, let's see if I have a piece cut, a shower loofah, which you can use. Works excellent. I do use it, um, but not with this... Uh, not not with this uh, pattern I'm doing. I like to use this. It's much smaller, and it gives me the uh, the small scale effect that uh, that I'm looking for. And you're not going to be be able to find this this uh, this material that I have here. I actually went to Walmart one day and searched and searched and searched for a smaller diameter scale pattern I couldn't find nothing in the whole store so what I was able to find was I noticed that the inside of some ha of hats had a line in them but but they were all too big as well so I came home and I noticed that one of my fishing hats had an inside cloth liner, which is what what you see right here. Um, so I cut that out of the inside of my hat. Uh, the hat is still good. Don't have no problems with the hat. And uh, yeah, so unless you have the exact same hat I have, you're not going to be able to find this uh, this material I have right here. And and. The good thing about this uh, cloth material is, is that I can wash it and reuse it, um, opposed to the shower loofah. It's, uh, it's a one-time use and then throw it away. Um, granted, the shower loofahs aren't that expensive. You can get them at Walmart or the dollar store for, you know, a dollar or two. So it's not that big of a problem, man. And by the time they, that you unroll a shower loofah, there's just so much m material there. It's well worth it. So I'm not hating on the shower loofah by any means. Um, it's just that pattern that that the loofah gives is way too big for what I was uh, aiming for. So I shoot it right out of the bottle. You you may not like to, but everybody has their preferences. 
just a light coat. Right now, I'm going to have it darker and it's going to fade out on the sides. It's going to be darker on top. It's going to fade out on the sides. If you just hold your airbrush at the right angle, the overspray is going to make it fade out. put them back where you ever you keep them and I'll be right back so now when you get the clips off go go ahead and peel peel your uh, stencil away whatever you're using and there and there's your effect fades right out now one thing that you do want to be careful about which I wasn't uh, is the alligator clips to put it on what can happen that right there I scratched the paint so I'm gonna have to repair that so what I'm gonna do is put another drop into here maybe two and turn down my air pressure just a little how's that 20 I'm down to about 15 the reason why I'm doing that is so I don't overspray this uh, pattern on the gill. Side to be darker and fade in towards the eyes. Just like that. It's good. I'm gonna heat set that. Came out pretty well. Show you another trick in a second here. Let me uh, go ahead and spray this one down. I'm doing this in layers here. Okay. Now, if you notice here, I got some overspray off the gill plate so what I like to do is I got a box of q-tips here just get it the end wet and softly slowly just go wherever you don't want the paint to be okay, touch it up now unfortunately this bait has a a bunch of ridges in it so if it gets down in there it's kind of hard to get out but you can at least get get the majority off and it, it looks a lot better okay so 
So the next step is to put a circle on it. And what I did was I was able to find some uh, plastic stuff that the paint comes right off after I use it. And all I did was I took a hole punch, punched a circle into it. And it just so happens that that circle is about the same size uh, for the most part. The, the only problems I really have with this is lining up the circles evenly on both sides so it looks good. Um, but I have a little small trick that I tried last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on this little ridge line. going to mark, mark the line as if it's running across I'm going to go ahead and spray it now I'm not going to move this pattern yet keep set that, keep it right where it is Go back a second time so it's nice and dark. Pick it up, move it, and there you go. You got your circle. Now the overspray on this comes right off. Actually, it doesn't matter because I'm using the same side. So now what I have to do is the hard part. And getting it to line right up. What I'm trying to do is just get a visual with my eye. Or even so, I can go from the tip of this gill plate. Mark this in the middle. So now I have a small little tiny mark showing me right where I should be. And that should be sufficient enough. So there's your circles, and, and, and like I said, this comes right off, so I can keep reusing that. I've used it many times already. I'll probably, you know, once this hole gets uh, too beat up, I'll just go next to it and punch a new one. Okay guys, so I just got done adding the dots on both, and I fixed the bottom of that one. Um, the best I could. Doesn't look too bad. Still usable. So now all that's left is to sign them because I sign all my baits. Sign the bottom. Some people might not like this, but it's my thing, so it's what I do.
at his uh, paint marker, by the way. That's it, guys. I definitely do like this with the with the pearl white instead of just plain opaque white. Uh, it gives it that extra that extra shine. Um, I like it. So that's that. Hang them up here to uh, air dry. All, all of my baits will air dry for 24 hours. And then after that, they will get their uh, epoxy clear coat, and that will dry for 24 hours before I even t uh, take them off my drying rack up here. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty simple pattern, but uh, stay tuned to the channel, and I will have more patterns coming up for you guys. Take care.